And we are going to see if we can get her in here. We will see what happens. If we don't have Pam Oaks, we will go to... text. Okay, so no Pam Oaks, so let's go to John O'Connor. The great John O'Connor. Let's go to Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. John O'Connor. We're going to see... I don't know, ever Skype, ever since Skype because it became it wanted to become Zoom. What is going on with Skype? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna quit Skype. I just I just don't understand why Skype worked since 2007 had minor issues but then they decided oh my god we got to become zoom we've got to redo our layout and become zoom <laughs> why why did they have to become zoom <sighs> okay we are going to do this i'm going to restart Skype and we are going to just see what in the world happens but while we are waiting actually I'm just going to go restart Skype I'm just going to go restart Skype because I really would like to use Skype I would like to get a hold of John O'Connor. I would like to get him on with us. And in order for me to do that, I've got to have Skype. And in order for me to do that, I've got to use Skype. I've got so much crap on this production computer desktop. <laughs> I have so much nonsense. Just so much nonsense. Oh my God, what a mess. Okay, so we are gonna <laughs> we are gonna go back in to uh I gotta move Peter. I gotta move you, buddy, because I gotta see what I'm doing here. Thank you, Peter. He's kind of annoyed by daddy. He's like, all I wanna do is just sleep. It's what I wanna do, I wanna sleep. So Okay. We've got Skype rebooted. So we are going to see if, okay, we're going to go with our original plan of Pam Oaks. <laughs> so <laughs> I just, I just don't know why Skype has to become Zoom. Why did they change their setup? Why did they want to become Zoom? Zoom is a Chinese product first off, and Zoom sucks. <laughs> so every once in a while I'll make calls and then I'll and then I won't things won't go through. And then I reboot Skype and magically everything works again. Um so we've got Pam Oaks with us today. Pam, how are you, my friend? Just fine. <laughs> just I like that intro. Yes. Zoom hey, I'll tell you uh, when I when I couldn't get a hold of you, I decided, well, screw it. We'll go to John O'Connor, and then I couldn't get John O'Connor on the line, and then I rebooted Skype, and then after I rebooted Skype, voila! Look who won the pony. Pam Oaks is on the line, and I'm like, hey, well, we'll just go with our ring. original plan. <laughs> ring. All of a sudden, it just said that you called, and I'm like. It didn't even ring. Okay. See? This is yeah. just so strange.
But we've got Pam Oaks with us today, the uh, in, in, incredible Pam Oaks. She is uh, she is busier than a goat in a hailstorm. And, uh, she lost her words. She, uh, she joins us here Peter on our big... Peter sometimes lost her words. Well, they're, they're, you know, I, I talked with somebody the other day that said they were uh, going down to Florida... And usually the first three things that pop into my head is what Jared Bass used to say, which is Florida. And then second was all second is always, oh, you're going down to Bubba the Love Sponge Country. And then the third thing is always, oh, if you have car problems, call Pam Oaks. So <laughs> that's always how it works. It's always how it works. Oh, so, funny. so one of the things that I've noticed fairly recently is everybody and their brother is blaming Joe Biden for the gas prices when, in all reality, he has nothing to do with the price of gas. <laughs> and then I see all these people who are like, well, we just need to get off all this fossil fuel and go with electric cars. So you're the car expert. What the hell do we need to do here? Uh, stick with your ICE engines, guys. Your internal engine, uh, combustion engine, your ICE engines. And, uh, there's a lot of battery technology that has to be researched. They're pushing the research because they're saying BEV, battery electric vehicles, BEV, BEV, BEV. And, um, you know, they can only go so far. And the, uh, elements that go into the battery are pretty toxic but um there's a huge learning curve and when you push technology that's when we make mistakes when we make mistakes we have to backpedal and well you know we're going to be spending extra money uh, extra time and uh losing that momentum going forward on uh, just rushing a project well the thing I've still been trying to figure out is who is the one that's making all the money on the electric cars? Because <laughs> I, re I remember the 90s and, and late 80s, everybody was about electric this, electric that, and everybody just laughed at these people. They're like, oh, that's, that's crap, blah, 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 blah. And now all of a sudden, Ford and all this other, all these other people are doing electric cars, and I'm like, okay, who's the one making the money on the electric cars? <laughs> well, they have to have electric vehicles to move up their collective, the manufacturer collective MPG. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to be a 54.5 MPG in the near future. Now that we're back on the Paris Accord. Okay. How are they going to do this? They're going to have to put in hybrid HEVs, plug-in hybrid PHEVs, or electric vehicles, battery electric vehicles, BEVs, BEVs. Okay. And it uh, doesn't matter if they just produce a handful or sell a handful or sell tens of thousands of them. Just so that's in their collection, that boosts the MPG up and they stay in compliance, and they don't get fined. So they're kind of like that that uh, that NFL player years ago who, who went to practice because he didn't want to get fined. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> is that, it, 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 is that pretty much what's mean? going on yes. now? That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I like that analogy. <laughs> I like I that analogy. There you that. go. Yeah, but that that's how it's going. You know, I know of a technician, a master tech right now, and he dumped his uh, Nissan Leaf because the amount of miles he had to drive, and he was getting what they call uh, recharge anxiety. That means you don't really? know if you're going to... Yeah, you don't know if you're going to Recharge anxiety. It. Yes, it's an actual phenomenon now. And um, as a matter of fact, when we were doing that Tesla project... I had to go over to the Tesla units and plug in twice. And I was thinking, where do I have to go and how many miles? And 
depending upon how hot or how cold it is and how you drive the vehicle, it's going to depend upon how many miles you get out of a charge. I got a little oh. bit of a heavier foot, so I'm going to get less miles out of that charge. Well, you know, the the other day, and I and I we we, we usually start um, we usually start our segments with 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 an interesting Brittany Baxter story. Uh, but I, I, you, you, you brought up, uh, you know, uh, you, you have a heavy foot and all these things. When, when we went to Las Vegas right before a worldwide pandemic, um, took place, um, mm -hmm. I was driving back and I decided I would drive back. She was tired, so I would drive. And so I was driving 40 on the highway and she has never let me forget that it's 70 to 75 on the highway and why was i driving 40. and then i could have got pulled over for that oh my god people would have thought i was drunk or high and i'm like no i just wasn't gonna speed yep 15 below yeah if you're 55 so. or below on a federal highway that's uh tag 70. yeah they could pull you over for uh Destruction of uh, traffic flow. Dang it! Give me a ticket. Dang it! I'll have to let Brittany know Please that you agree here. with her. Yeah. Dang it! Yeah, don't tell her. <laughs> we'll hear the end of it again. <laughs> For future reference. Oh, uh, I'll have to. I'll have to tell her. I'll have to say, well, you were right. They would have given me a ticket. They would have pulled me over. Now, on the other hand, though, you felt comfortable driving that speed. And not faster. Yes. So that was wise decision upon your part. Uh -huh. Aha! Okay. As George yeah, Costanza would say. If you went <laughs> speeds beyond your comfort zone, <laughs> then you could have gotten into an accident. See? Look at that. Yeah. That thing. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't Try know. That one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, I, good, good, good to see that the Skype camera is working and Pam Oaks was able to see my my, my thing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it is. We are having a lot of fun today with uh, Pam Oaks. She joins us here on our big program. And uh, so, Pam, um, me and the lovely and talented Britannia and uh, the. The, the little girl that is all the pronouns, Crystal Baxter, is going to be going to, uh, oh, I'll tell you about that here in a minute. Um, we're going to be going on what they believe to be a vacation, what I believe to be just going somewhere and doing something other than doing what we're doing here. Um, we are going to be going to Colorado um, next oh. week. And we're going to be we're going to go out there and see uh, Mr. Ross Long, who is uh, going to be uh, who is stationed out there in Pueblo, Colorado. And uh, that's where they give you all the government uh, booklets from. That's awesome. Look at that. Um, useless bar trivia. So so, so you're going to Pueblo. So we're going to Pueblo, and Ross is going to fit in. The schedule of seeing me around his acting schedule. He apparently has been cast in a in a role in Twelve Angry Men, which if anyone has ever met Ross Long, Ooh. that is perfect for him because he is angry all the time. And uh, <laughs> so Great movie. he is going to be in Twelve Angry Men. And um, so, what do we need to do to prepare this vehicle? The, the the good old Kia Forte uh, before we go to uh, to to Colorado. Well, about a, I would definitely nowadays since parts are a little harder to come by, I would definitely uh, take her in a couple weeks in advance and have them do a safety inspection on the vehicle. It's due for the oil change or pretty close to being due for the oil change. Have them change it. Have them rotate the tires because while they have the tires off, they're going to be doing a visual brake inspection uh, see what the brake lining looks like at that time uh, any other little thing you know when we get a car into the bay especially us that are well seasoned and have been doing it for a long time there are little 
nuances of different your make and models that uh, we look for a common issue with them. And if you get that seasoned tech, they're going to be looking for a common issue too to see if it's uh, due to be addressed or everything's fine. It gives you, you know, a green flag there. So that's definitely what I do. The second part, I would definitely uh, make sure I had my emergency roadside kit, my box. We actually have uh, the list on our findmeautohelp.com site and uh, put that stuff in a box for that just in case moment. Okay, that's awesome. Well, uh, we will definitely do that. It will be quite the entertaining trip. Um, before before I let you go, Pam, before before we yes. get to the obvious, but uh, I mentioned uh, Crystal Baxter and all of her pronouns. Um, Crystal is one of these children that has been raised by YouTube, and uh, she is all the pronouns. She's not just he, him, her. She's all of them. And I'm like, you can't be all of them. <laughs> so she is all of them. <laughs> That's definitely She me. is him, yeah. her, they, <laughs> it. She's everything. So And, and Strunk and White are just rolling in their graves right now. <laughs> yes. So she is, she is all of them. Although... Uh, one of the things that I often say is that I have high hopes for the fact that social engineering doesn't work because she has been jumping up and down for like the last couple of years telling everybody, oh, I'm gay, I'm gay, blah, 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 and I'm all the pronouns and all the horse shit. But yet, she's been hanging out with this little cowboy kid with a mullet named Michael. Huh. And she was sitting next to a, a little guy at the uh, band concert the other night. And she told her mother later on, she was like, I think he's pretty cute. So <laughs> you might be, you know, told by all the people on YouTube that you're gay, but you are what you are. <laughs> That's right. Amen so, to that. You are what you are. So there is that. But Pam, before we let you go, how do we get a hold of you online, buy your book, everything else? Actually, tonight I am teaching uh, HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning for Delphi Technologies. And Look at that. you still have time to sign up through AutoPro. You go to the AutoPro website and you can register sign up for this evening there's a no fee it's uh again sponsored for by delphi technologies and you can always reach me on findmeautohell.com and if you have any car questions situations you want to run something past me i'll be more than happy to answer your questions Fantastic. and do it often and just enjoy it love helping the consumer it's all about keeping money in your wallet well, that's good. Well, Pam, I will talk to you in, not next week, but the week after, because we will be in Colorado at that time. But, Enjoy um, Colorado. I it's will one be of in, the four states I haven't been in yet. I will go to Colorado and talk to the one of the 12 angry men, Ross Long, and uh, I will talk to you uh, <laughs> here in a week or so, Pam. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you, my Safe friend. Travels. There she goes, Pam Oaks. The incredible Pam Oaks. We've got a timeout coming up. Larry Tracy. 